It's a horrible moment. Last night was a horrible moment as well, watching the flame be distinguished again. It's the second time I've seen that happen now, and it both times absolutely heart wrenching. And today, I think we're still riding that that wave a little bit, the Olympic buzz and. Tomorrow we'll wake up and that'll be that'll be it. It's all done. London 2012 is finished. This is the worst thing. Everybody else is going, oh yeah, been on holiday, I've been enjoying myself and everything else, and and I've sadly, <laughs> I've sadly been uh, been still at it. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm competing again on Saturday, and then that's my final one. So after that, then I can enjoy myself a little bit more. What I've been hearing from most people and, and the youngsters that I've spoken to, they're just inspired to get involved with sport and get fit and active again. And, that, and that's what it's all been about. If that's the one thing that comes out of this Olympics, is getting more kids involved in sport. And, and the amount that are so excited by it and now want to be long jumpers or, or now want to row or cycle or whatever, it's, it's been brilliant to see. And I think most, most clubs have been inundated with people now wanting to join them, which, which is fantastic. That, that is probably the most important thing. And, and I just hope that will last a long time. And I think it's up to us athletes as well to get out there and promote it to these youngsters and, and show them how much fun it can be. Everybody I see, I'm, I'm trying to in, trying to inspire them as much as possible, as, as inspiring as I can be as a, a, who I am and everything. But yeah, it's, it's great fun and, and hopefully yeah, long may it continue. Oh, it's been really crazy. We've just been five weeks now since we won the medal and it's been just full on ever since. We've been organising things, doing things. It's been brilliant. We prepare for the big races in the year. When it's a World Championship, you've been training for it for a year. With the Olympics, you've been training and looking towards it for four years. And in the blink of an eye, it's over in its history. And it's always it's a really big shock for, shock for all the athletes. And afterwards, people are just walking around looking a bit semi-dazed sort of thing. We have to paddle in a boat all the time. And through the winter, when there's a lot of other things that, you know, you might be in a bad mood already because you have to get up earlier than you wanted to. And then it's cold on the way to training. And then, you know, but uh, I mean, we're both pretty reasonable people and I think that's why we can paddle well together. We're basically sound and you just get on with it and try and be professional. If you're not in a good mood, you've still got to do your training and that's that.